Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be taking you guys with us as we finish framing our basement. And then we are also going to be cleaning everything up and just kind of giving you guys an update on when we plan to finish the basement. I also wanted to let you guys know that I am having another giveaway in this video and I will have all the information for that giveaway in the description box as well as down in the pinned comment. So make sure you guys enter and don't miss out. And without further ado, let's get into it. I wanna hear you say it. Take two cords, flip them over like that, plug them in, and then now it won't come unplugged. That's good. Not as good as the other hacks I was doing this morning, but yeah, but it was pretty good. So by the time I had gotten down here on this day, Kyle had already finished up a lot of the stairs and we were just finishing up with a few areas and then also finishing up the treads of the stairs. This thing right here. Pull this? Yeah, you pull it back. Okay. And then pull the hose off. Right. Is it gonna like shock me? You scared me! <laughs> okay. I finally did it. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> this is a nail that you drive down into concrete and you use gunpowder, kind of like a bullet, to do it. So you use this, I call it a ramp set. You put the nail in. Then you put the charge in, close it up, and you put it down on your piece of wood. You have to put it down hard and then hit it with a hammer. Like a gunshot. Shoots the nail through the wood all the way into the concrete. We have stairs. This Almost. looks like a super easy job. Yeah, this took all day. <laughs>
Finishing our basement ourselves has been a crazy experience. It's something that has definitely taken a lot longer than we had planned, just because Kyle is doing this while he is working full time and just kind of trying to fit everything into his spare time. But it's also been really neat to just see everything kind of come together and just know that he has done this all himself. That looks so good. It does look really good. Let's just leave it and be done with the basement now. Basement's done. <laughs> okay, so it is the next day and Kyle and I are down here. He got everything done. Everything is framed. He even framed in the bathroom a little bit. But now we have a huge mess. We actually have electrical coming this week to look at everything and hopefully get lights and outlets and everything in and so we need to get everything cleared out so that they can make their way through the whole basement and as soon as that's done we are going to get started with drywall so today i figured we would take you guys along with us and clean up the basement and then we will give you kind of an overview update on our time frame and where we're at with everything and when we are hoping to be finished now So starting out cleaning this basement was a little bit overwhelming just because there was so much down here. So the first thing we wanted to do was get all of the scrap wood out. We are going to be giving this to some friends who have a fire pit. But first things first was needing to get all of this out of the basement. So we just started by gathering all the wood and extra scraps. And then after we take it into the garage, we will just kind of sort through what exactly is trash and what is scrap wood. Once we got all of the scrap wood off the floor, we just started taking everything else out of this little area. We wanted to really focus on one area at a time and clean that really well and move things around as needed.
Once we had the theater room area cleared out and swept, we just started moving into the next area. These rooms are going to be a bunk bed room and then kind of like a little game room slash media room. I'm not entirely sure yet, but then we just started clearing everything out. Some of the tools were going to be staying down here, but a majority of them were going back out to the shed. I just want to know. During the time that Kyle was framing, he had to pull some of the insulation out of the ceiling. So that's what all this insulation is here for. So he was just kind of reorganizing that into one of the spare bedroom closets. And then while he did that, I just took care of sweeping this floor. Nobody can see me, see me, nobody can see me, see me, I wonder can you hear me, hear me, oh. I just want to know. I am getting so excited for this basement. I mean, we've been excited this whole time, but just kind of seeing it empty and seeing all of the wood up on the walls has just made it feel so much more real. And the fact that we are getting in an electrician this week and also going to be starting on drywall shortly after, it's just making this space feel so much more real and I just cannot wait to have this added space into our house. And I'm also super excited to be decorating this area. So definitely stay tuned for those videos because this whole process is going to be a ton of fun. And I was actually talking to Kyle that it would be really fun to kind of have you guys help me out in picking things out for the basement and just kind of helping us decide on things. So be sure that you are subscribed so that you are not missing out on that. Explode every time you go and slam the door. Up on the floor, we know how to push the buttons to the core. Or I've got you. If we think good, I want it done about. Takes a second and then we back it again. Ghost the ride for the drink, good minds. But I don't ever want just to stop playing. Go ahead, to let me smile from for all. So 
So we finished clearing everything out. It took, I don't know, how long did it take? Hours. Yeah, it probably took like three hours. Yeah. It didn't feel like that long. It's 4 in the afternoon. Okay, it took like two or three hours. Maybe too much. <laughs> hours. <laughs> Whatever. So it took a few hours to get everything done, but it looks so good in here. We kept a few things, like obviously we kept all the insulation and like a few tools that Kyle's going to be using for drywalling, and that's pretty much it. But all of the wood has been cut, it has been put up, we are done framing, so we have an electrician coming this week, and then we have to do drywall, mud and tape, what else? Texturing. Okay, texturing. Painting. Just come tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Texturing, painting, all the trim, flooring, all that kind of like finishing work. But honestly, this is kind of the last step that it's going to look like this because next year we're doing drywall and it is going to completely transform this basement from looking to like so unfinished to looking almost finished. <laughs> so we are definitely a little bit behind schedule. This, the end of the summer and September just really knocked us back a lot. So I don't think we're going to get to be done by Christmas, but our goal is like early spring. So we're really, really hoping that we can get it done. My goal is February. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to say February. There's a lot of work to be done here. Could so. we get it done by February? Probably. Why? <laughs> I don't know. There's I'm, a lot of work to do down here. I don't know. We'll I'm see. thinking hopefully February, but we'll see. We're going to, it's definitely becoming like more of a like higher up on the list I guess so we're gonna try to get it done as quick as we can but there is still a lot of stuff to get done and Kyle is doing most of this himself plus working so he just has to fit it in but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed just kind of seeing everything thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye guys I'm tired and hungry let's go to lunch <laughs>